Today, I wanna to talk about Kurt Vonnegut's Mother Night. I just finished reading it. And this is actually the second time that I've read this book. And Kurt Vonnegut is one of my all-time favorite authors. I started reading Kurt Vonnegut when I was in high school and he has had a profound impact on me and um, the books that I like and the, and the books that I read. And I've kind of been reading through Vonnegut again and I read an essay recently written by Kurt Vonnegut where he grades each and every one of the books he has written and each book he gives a letter grade. And he gave Mother Night um, an A. And the other books which he gave A's and A pluses, those are some of my favorite Kurt Vonnegut books. Um, Slaughterhouse-Five, Cat's Cradle, Sirens of Titan. And this was one, Mother Night was a book that I knew I had read, I'd read it in high school, but other than really basic uh, plot points, I couldn't really remember that much about it. And so I felt like I needed to read it again. And Mother Night itself is a pretty short book. This time around, I actually listened to the Audible version of the book and it comes in at six hours and three minutes. And so it was really quick for me to get through, but I, uh, I really loved and I enjoyed Mother Night. And it's interesting. So a lot of Kurt Vonnegut's books, he writes introductions to the book. And reading the introduction this time, he, he says that Mother Night is the only book which he's written where he knows what the moral of the story is. And he tells you right at the very beginning, this is what he says. The moral of Mother Night is we are what we pretend to be. So we must be careful about what we pretend to be. And it's just a very um, interesting to think about. Um, the moral of the story, because it's so plainly seen throughout the entire book. And the book itself is about a man named Howard Campbell, who is an American, who is also a member of the Nazi party. And during World War II, he was tasked with writing Nazi propaganda, and he would broadcast it um, on the German radio stations. And he was probably the most well-known um, public broadcaster of Nazi propaganda. And throughout the book, he meets other Germans who talk about how his words helped um, helped build a spirit of Nazism in themselves. Um, but he didn't actually believe the things that he wrote. And instead, he was actually a spy for the United States government. And he'd been recruited to broadcast secret messages over German radio. And the whole book itself, every character who Howard Campbell meets isn't who they say they are. Almost the entire book, almost everyone we meet has some um, hidden life, is telling some lie, um, or is pretending, as, as Kurt Vonnegut says, pretending to be something that they're not. And even Howard Campbell, he is not a Nazi, but he does um, all this Nazi propaganda and has a huge effect. Um, on for both sides. And I don't want to get too much into uh, the plot and the and any spoilers in the book. But as I was reading through this, I got some really big Sirens of Titan vibes from this book, which is actually my all time favorite Kurt Vonnegut book. Um, this was the third book Mother Night was the third book which Kurt Vonnegut ever wrote. And it was published in 1962. Um, which is crazy to think about. It's, uh, it's almost 60 years old. But the book he'd written before this was The Sirens of Titan. And both, I guess they, they, they seem very similar to me. So in this book, Howard Campbell, the main character, he's very, he, he, it's almost as he's just, it's almost like he's dead. Like he's just kind of floating through life um, when we read about him in the book. And his wife, Helga, had died. And from this point forward, he was just kind of dead inside and just kind of floating wherever life would take him. And part and because of that, he kind of gets used um, throughout his life for other purposes by other people and other entities or other governments. And it was reminiscent of Malachi Constant in The Sirens of Titan. And I don't think Malachi Constant in The Sirens of Titan is actually really dead. He actually is a pretty strong character at the beginning of, of Titan, but through, as he progresses in Sirens of Titan and becomes Unk, um, he kind of resembles Howard Campbell in a way. And, and in essence, he's just kind of dead and he's just kind of being used. And the whole purpose of the Sirens of Titan, uh, the way it's set up is Malachi Constant is being used, uh, first by Rumford, 
And then, but we find out that Rumford himself is being used by the aliens and by Sallow. And this is, and Mother Knight is very similar in the sense that Howard Campbell is just being used for other purposes. But I love this book. It's a really short read. I don't know if you've never read a Kurt Vonnegut book. I don't know if this is the first one to start with. Um, but after you've read a few of his other books, this is a really a hidden gem. It's not as well known, I think, as far as his other non um, popular books. I think this is probably one of the, the most well written ones, and it's just a great story. So, yeah, go check it out if you've read it um, and you had any thoughts, go ahead and comment on this video, and I'll see you guys next time.